is up everybody? It's rev time. Um, I was just noodling around in a stream of uh, consciousness, or in my case, unconsciousness, because I'm usually a breath away from a coma. But that being said, I was just kind of noodling around because I want to show you guys a couple shapes that I use, but not necessarily show you like learn this lick note for note, but more how I, I employ uh, a couple of shapes. So I'll get right into it. If we're in A, which is, uh, you know, it could be, we could think of it as A dominant seven. We could think of it as just straight like A minor. Um, or we could think of it more as even in the key of C, the relative major. But I'm really thinking in that A, you know, the one chord being A, uh, A minor, I should say. So uh, the first shape is based on the pentatonic scale that a lot of us know from, uh, you know, around the 12th fret. So you're starting on the A string and it's the... Whatever, you know, shape that, I don't know. It's, it's that, you know. It's that straight ahead pentatonic thing. But what I do is I found a shape in there that I really liked, and I actually used it as kind of the pickup to a melody in, a, in one of my songs on that, uh, that little uh, demo, demolition record I did. But it's, it's this thing. So it's based on the scale. I'm just omitting some notes. So it would be uh, A string at the 12th fret to the D string at the 12th fret right below it. And then uh, the uh, G string at the uh, seven, eight, ninth fret, and then back up to the twelfth fret on the G string, and then we're going to go to the root, the upper uh, root A on the uh, what is that? The tenth fret? Yeah, ten, I'm terrible with frets. Uh, on the tenth fret, so so I'm showing you that just so you guys can maybe employ it in something. I just thought it sounded cool. So maybe, you know, try that out. You can do it in obviously different keys. Just, uh, you know, remember, it's always going to start on the road, on the, on the road, on the root of, you know, so if we want to do it in C, instead of starting here, we'll start it here. Because that's our root. And then you can start skipping notes too. That sounds cool. It's kind of fifthy as opposed to, or fourthy, I should say, as opposed to going. But yeah, just try it. Um, that's a fun one. Now, another one that I use a lot is, I would say it's still based on a pentatonic, but it's, and we'll stay in A. Um, it's a shape. So you can still see that same pentatonic uh, that we would do here. But I'm thinking of it more... Um, and you'll catch like Eric Johnson. Uh, there's a lot of guys that use it, but where I use it is this kind of stuff. Um, It's just kind of a fun way to get around. Um, like right there, I just employed it, but it's still the same thing. But I just uh, slid into it. Um, so I'll show you that one. It's 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 just this shape. So if you think of it as starting uh, on the 12th fret, uh, 10th fret and the uh, the eighth fret. So it's 12th fret on the G string, 10th fret on the B, eighth fret, five, six, seven, yeah, eighth fret, <laughs> count it. 
Eighth fret on the, the high E. See, I, I've never counted frets. It's always based on the little speed bump markers. So you have to bear with me when I when I do this kind of stuff. But but yeah, you get the idea. It's it's this shape. And I just use it to get around. Now that could still be used. You could use that over, you know, it's obviously working in A. But it'll work in C. So you can always try things that you're playing over a minor in the relative major and just see if you like how it sounds. Because that works great over C, but it also works great over A minor. So, you know, just that's that's personal preference, I guess. But yeah, try that one out too. It's, you know, it's I mean, it's a go-to for me, especially like when I'm doing what I just did that kind of faster. It just immediately gets me. You know, and then the rest of it's pentatonic stuff that you guys know. But yeah, I just thought, you know, I'd, I'd show you guys a couple of my little tricks. So to recap, there's this one. that one and then uh, the other one is this one cool so there you go take those schooners for a spin and uh, yeah let me let me know what you guys think of uh, you know riff ideas like or i should say lick ideas like that and uh and as always i really appreciate you guys watching please hit the like button uh and subscribe because that really helps the channel of course you know the algorithm sees that stuff and puts it out there a little bit more and it, it just helps us out uh overall so that would be much appreciated and uh yeah we will see you guys next time